Thank you so much, uh, CEO Abala, the guest of honor, the Honorable Eugene Omalwa, Chair of the Council of Governors and also the Chair of the CEOs. Uh, Zai from Jumuya Diaspora. on behalf uh, of the chairman. The chairman was here a few minutes ago, but uh, he had to leave because there was some emergency he had to attend to. So see how we can advise you on how you can optimize the resources that we already have in the region to align our fight against COVID. Optimize of your mandates on COVID-19 in order to optimize, as I have already said. We have also decided we'll advise you on how best you can align the regional, the, the, the county uh, uh, initiatives to the regional initiatives, to the national initiatives, and taking into account the context. Mark Mohamed Hete, come from the Higa, specialist in uh, health center facilities. Honorable Guest of Honor, uh, uh, CS, Your Excellencies, uh, that is the team that you have. Uh, we also have apologies from Honorable Mubi Awori. We have apologies from Ken Chogit. We have apologies. You don't come, but just stand. CC is of health. So let me take one block, please. Uh, we appreciate you around our floor. And the leadership of Kisumo City is all here. Now, with your permission, allow me to invite the speaker of the Great County of Such as experience this pandemic. It is for this reason that eminent and distinguished personalities from this region, from various sectors and different backgrounds, have agreed to join hands with us in spreading the implementation of our regional strategy on COVID-19. The role of the economic blocks in development cannot be understated. We therefore request you, Cabinet Secretary Wamalwa, and this is in your token, that you expedite the passing of the national policy on regional economic blocks. This will enable us to move forward because as regional blocks, there are six of them in this country, they have been unable to access funds from counties because there is no legal framework. And I hope the national policy that you are coming up with will be able to solve this problem. However, let us also appreciate our sister, Rose Nyamunga, Senator, who has come up with a County Resource Development Bill 2020. And we are ho ho hopeful that the Senate will support this bill so that as counties we are able to operate legally as required in those two uh, documents. And I want to assure you, as uh, the governors have said here, when it comes to the issue of strengthening this cooperation, it will also be necessary to strengthen the policy and legal framework, to anchor the regional economic blocks in the law. And I want to assure you, uh, governors present, that as national government, indeed, we have already developed the policy, but we must also acknowledge the efforts of our legislators, because it will take also the counties, the national government, working together with our parliament, working together with our county assemblies, to put in place the necessary policy and legislative framework. From this region, I must salute our legislators, namely Senator Rose Nyamunga, who comes from here, for the bill that is already undergoing uh, the second reading before the Senate. 
that will make regional economic blocks legal entities. I want to also assure you of support of national government for that bill. With the little that we have, I will assure you, all governors have done their best to defeat this pandemic. But we must do better. Best could always be better. And therefore, we have come here today to inaugurate this LREB COVID-19 Inter-County Advisory and Resource Mobilization Committee that our chairman will lead us in today because we know that the best we have done can be better. This committee of eminent passions, we, have, we had only one other such committee. If you had only one such a, a committee, almost everywhere in this republic, we are sure that the commitment that I pronounced today will be a lesson to the whole nation.